let's continue discussing about quadratic equations. Today, I will be discussing on how are you going to solve quadratic equations by extracting the square root. You just need to remember, quadratic equations that can be written in the form of x squared equals k can be solved by the following properties. 1. If k is greater than 0, then x squared equals k has two real solutions or roots. Thus, x is equal to positive negative square root of k. Number 2. If k is equal to 0, then x squared equals k has one real solution or root. Thus, x is equal to 0. 3. If k is less than 0, then x squared equals k has no real solution or root. The method of solving the quadratic equation x squared equals k is called extracting the square root. Let us have example number 1, x squared equals 9. The first thing that you have to do is to identify whether it is written in the form of x squared equals k. And in this case, it is already written in the correct form. We're in the value of k is 9. Since k is equal to 9, it means k is greater than 0. And based on the principle earlier, if k is greater than 0, then x is equal to positive negative square root of k. So to solve x squared equals 9, x is equal to positive negative square root of 9. Does 9 have a square root? Yes, so the final answer is x is equal to positive negative 3. Positive negative 3 means there are two roots, positive 3 and negative 3. We can always check if our answer is correct. That is, by substituting the values to the original equation. So if the equation is x squared equals 9, and if x is equal to 3, 3 squared is equal to 9. In the same manner, if x is equal to negative 3, negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3, so it is also equal to 9. Did you get it? Let us have another example. Let us have example number 2, x squared equals 0. Is it written in x squared equals k? Yes, k is equal to zero and based on our principle if k is equal to zero then x is equal to zero example number three x squared is equal to nine is it written in x squared equals k yes the value of k is less than zero why because the value of k is negative nine and all negative numbers are less than zero and based on the principle, if k is less than 0, then there is no real solution. Let us proceed in example number 4. 5x squared minus 25 equals 0. Again, you need to identify if it is written in x squared equals k. Is it? No, because the constant term must be written on the right side. To do that, we have to apply the addition property of equality. So it will become 5x squared equals 25. Is it now in x squared equals k? Still not. Why? Because the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is 5. In x squared equals k, the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term should always be equal to 1. So how are we going to do that? Yes, we are going to use multiplication property of equality. So we will be dividing both sides by 5. If we do that, this will be cancelled out. So the equation will become x squared equals 5. Is it now written is x squared equals k? Yes, where k is equal to 5 and it is greater than 0. Again, if k is greater than 0, the value of x is the positive, negative, the square root of k. In this example, the value of k is 5. Does 5 have a square root? None. So again, the answer will still be x is equal to positive, negative, square root of 5. Are the values correct? Let us check. 
Again, you are going to substitute e to the original equation, 5x squared minus 25. So if x is square root of 5, you have square root of 5 squared, which means square root of 5 times square root of 5, the answer will be 5. Then 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. Both sides of the equation are equal, so it is correct. In the same manner, if x is equal to negative square root of 5, negative square root of 5 times negative square root of 5 is also equal to 5. And 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. Both sides of the equation are correct, so the solutions positive square root of 5 and negative square root of 5 are both correct. Let us have example number 5. 2x squared minus 10 equals negative 2. Is it in x squared equals k? No. Why? Because we have two constant term here. We have to write it on the right side and then we need to simplify. So we will be having 2x squared equals negative 2 plus 10. Then we simplify the two constant. It will become 2x squared equals 8. Is it now written in x squared equals k? No, because again, the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term should be equal to 1. So what are you going to do? You are going to divide both sides by 2. And if you do that, the resulting equation will become x squared equals 4. Is it now written in x squared equals k? Yes, k is equal to 0 and it is great k is equal to 4 and it is greater than 0. And again, if k is greater than 0, x should be positive negative square root of k. So, we have x is equal to positive negative square root of 4. And as we all know, square root of 4 is 2. So the final answer is positive and negative 2. To check again, we have 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. If x is negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4 also. 2 times 4 is 8 again, and 8 minus 10 is negative 2. Let us consider the next example. Quantity x minus 2 squared equals 64. Is it 310 in x squared equals k? The answer is yes. This time around, the base of the quadratic term is a binomial, which is x minus 2. So we can still say that it is written in x squared equals k. It's just that the base is a binomial. So again, k is equal to 64 here, and then it is greater than 0. So the value of x is the positive negative square root of k. Following the principle, it will become x minus 2 equals positive negative 60 square root of 64. Does 64 has a square root? Yes, so we will be having x minus 2 equals positive negative 8. What are you going to do next? You are going to use addition property of equality, so it will become 2 positive negative 8. What are you going to do here? You are going to combine positive 8 and negative 8 with 2. So the first value of x is 2 plus 8, which is equal to 10. And the second value of x is equal to 2 minus 8, which is 6. Therefore, the roots or the solutions are 10 and negative 6. Let us check each solution. Using the original equation, quantity x minus 2 squared equals 64. If x is equal to 10, so you have 10 minus 2, that is 8, and then 8 squared is equal to 64. And also, if x is negative 6, negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8, and negative 8 squared is also equal to 64. It means 10 and negative 6 are both correct. Let us have the last example. 2 times the quantity x minus 5 squared is equal to 8. Is it, in is it written in x squared equals k? No. 
Why? Because as you can see here, we have a numerical coefficient of 2. So using multiplication property of equality, you are going to divide both sides by 2. That will be cancelled out. So the resulting equation is x minus 5 squared equals 4. Is it now written as x squared equals k? Yes, because we have x minus 5, that will be the base, so it is written in x squared equals k. Where k is equal to 4, it is greater than 0, so the value of x is positive negative square root of k. Using the principle, x minus 5 is equal to positive negative square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so x minus 5 equals positive negative 2. Again, you are going to combine 5, I positive and negative 2 with 5. So x sub 1 is 5 plus 2, which is 7. And x sub 2 is 5 minus 2, which is 3. Therefore, the roots are 7 and 3. Let us check. If x is equal to 7, 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so 8 is equal to 8. If x is equal to 3, 3 minus 5 is negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, 2 times 4 is also 8. So again, in extracting the square root, you just need to remember the following properties. If k is greater than 0, then x squared has two real solutions, and that is positive negative square root of k. If k is equal to 0, then x squared equals k has one real solution or root, and x is equal to 0. And if k is less than 0, then x squared equals k has no real solution or root. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.